Oh shit! back everybody to seven days to die at alpha 18 i am an old guy gaming and we are playing this game on insane difficulty the zombies are all set to nightmare speed all of the time day and night every single damn one of them and it's a hell of a challenge and it's a lot of fun so anyway yes uh, so we are going to continue the church in this episode in the basement of the church however uh, off camera we got a um an airdrop which is right over there that we're going to go get. And uh, let's get some more XP too whilst we're at it. Wait for her to hold still. And let's try that. Nope. There we go. <laughs> Oh, she's fast. Oh my goodness, she's fast. Time for the pistol. She was moving. Goodness gracious. Woo! That, that lady was bucking it. My goodness, that's just so scary. So scary. Okay. Anyway, uh, let's go see what's in this airdrop. Hopefully we will get something kick-ass cool here. Let's take that. And then we'll head on back, like I said, and we'll uh, we'll do the basement of the church in hopes to find some good schematics. All right, what do we got? What do we got? We don't have anything super good. I mean, you know, canned food's good. The rest of the stuff, don't care. Not worth selling. We're just going to scrap it for leather. Same thing here. And uh, the canned food, though, I mean, that doesn't suck. It really doesn't. In fact, we could even use some canned food. So let's pop the... Uh, let's put, pop the can of peas and see if that's enough to get our stamina cap all the way back up. One thing of cornmeal, I don't think that's worth taking up any space in our inventory. We shall scrap that. Yeah, good. Okay, so that got our cap all the way back up. Um, okay, cool. All right, guys, so I will meet you back at the church, and we will hit that basement. So I'll be back in just a bit. Okay, guys, we are back and ready to take on the church. All right, here we go. So I don't think there's anything behind there. Or back in here either. So I think this is a false floor, if I remember right. So let's deal with that first. Well, we got somebody's attention already. So I think they're going to try and come up through here. So let's get this. You know what, though? I don't know. If, I don't think they can get over here because of the gap there. 
now that I think about it. See, the, they're all kind of just derping out over that way. So let's do this. Let's put this in here. Uh, why won't that go down in there? There's more stuff in the way, isn't there? Yeah, that's all like a whole entire um, thing. So they can come up through this way. So let's get that blocked off. Now, I don't th think they can come from here. Right, so this is just a dead end. Okay, it looks like they might be trying to come up here. I don't... You know what, though? I don't think they will because... Their AI is this smart. Oh, well, maybe they will. Okay. They did try and come that way. Interesting. Okay, let's put some more spikes in here. Come on, Nurse Nancy. Oh, look at that. Loot drop. Forged iron and bottled water. Big mama. Okay. Alright, that takes out Big Mama. Got a little girl zombie here. Okay, we got the kill. Awesome, awesome. Um, you know, this is working so damn well. I, I think what we might actually try and do... I'm kind of surprised they're coming up here, though, because usually when they don't sense a pathway through, they, you know, look for a different place. So let's wait for them to despawn. I should probably put a block in there so I don't fall in there myself. And I'm going to try something here. I don't know if it's going to work, but I'm going to try something. I'm going to see if I can aggro anybody else. Well, you know, actually, you know what? On second thought, on second thought, let's do something different here. I'm going to leave those spikes there. And let's, uh, we probably better repair this. It's about time to do that. Because it is getting, getting low. All right, let's just head on down and see what's going on. We've got plenty of places, though, that we can, you know, that we can um, block these guys from getting through. At least on the staircase here, anyway. Don't see anything that way. I don't think that's all disease down here, but not really sure. Okay, so, motorcycle handle bars schematic. All right, I'll take that. I will also take the paper too. Okay, let's hit this bookcase. Blade trap schematic. Very nice. Okay. Just being very, very quiet. Uh, lumberjack challenge, don't care. You know what, though? We could actually scrap that, right? Might as well get some paper out of it. Better than throwing it away. Nice. Oh, nice. Okay, so what this does is this basically gives us more ammo capacity. And then what's this? Contact grenade schematic. Okay, so I think this is like a sticky grenade. Very cool. Okay, so we'll take that. Oh, we got a bookcase up here, too. Um, Hunter. Okay, that's good. That gives us more... I think that gives us, like, more damage against animals, or we harvest more, or something like that. I think it's more damage. Lots of paper for shoddy shells. That's awesome. What do we got here? Ranger's Guide to Archery Volume 1. Arrow Recovery. Learn this trick to safely remove 20% more arrows and bolts from your target. Thank you very much. I will take that. Yeah, see, this is a good place to come for books, you guys. I already get this one, right? Yeah.
So let's just keep on moving through here. Doesn't look like that stuff provides anything. So we'll go down through here. Whew, that goes down even further. Okay, tell you what, before we go down there, let's let's just get this entire floor looted first. Because I'm pretty damn sure we're gonna run into more Zeke's down there. Alright, what do we got here? Steel armor schematic. Yes, please. Thank you very much. I will take that. And mini bike handlebars, okay? And looter, medical supplies. So many cuts, so few bandages. Find more med medical supplies and loot. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. We get XP for reading those too, which is even better. Okay, we got paper. What do we got here? Gravedigger schematic. Um, and sawed off shotgun. All right. Yeah, you know what? Let's just, let's learn it. And if we find another one, then we'll sell it or scrap it. Rad Remover Mod Schematic. Really? So they actually put this in vanilla. Very nice. This was something that was in uh, Darkness Falls. Very cool. Okay. Uh, what that does, if you guys didn't know, is it... Um, let's see if it gives us a, a description. Yeah, so ra irradiated zombies have like a really nasty, well, nasty for us anyways, health regen. And what this basically does is it negates that for 90 seconds so you can kill them faster. That's really cool, man. I didn't even think that would be in vanilla because that's like I said, that's something that was in Darkness Falls, which is, by the way, one of my favorite, if not my favorite overall of this game. Uh, All right. Let's see. So far, so good. This is really... Really paying off. What do we got here? Pistol Pete. Maximum damage inflict 10% more damage with 9mm weapons. Yeah, baby. We will take that. That's <laughs> That music freaks me out. Uh, what's this do? Armor plating mod schematic. Okay. Very nice. It's like freaking Christmas down here, man. I'll tell you what. Uh, now. Okay. So far, so really good. Uh, we'll check that door after we've looted everything else down here. Uh, this, I think we'll just take right now, and then we'll scrap both of these cans. Okay. Okay, come on, bicycle or mini bike schematic. Excellent, we got another point. That's what I'm talking about. Oh yeah, triple storage mod schematic. Very nice. And wrench schematic. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I will take that. Okay, so I think that's it for this room. Uh, we got one side room over here to check. And then we've got the lower section. So let's go ahead and uh, pop this place open. Uh, just trying to see if I, I hear sleep noises. Dang, that's loud. Hmm, interesting. We have them here. We've got Zeke's. Oh shit! Oh, I missed her. I was trying to, uh, Lock that door off. Can get it blocked off. Whoa! I'm sure glad we got the armor on that we do. Whew! <laughs> I 
All right. Um, that uh, extra point that we took in uh, Gunslinger uh, for faster reload definitely helped that helped us in that situation for sure. I think that warrants probably a medikit there. Whew. Okay. With all with that many Zeeks in there, there's pro there's got to be something good in here. Well, you would think so anyway. Let's check it out. Let's get everything reloaded here. Hmm. That looks like it goes, goes back up to the, the top area. College jacket. Don't we already have one of these? What do we have? Yeah, we do. We just have a red one. Okay, how much is that thing worth? 70? Okay, I might end up just scrapping that. We'll see. Okay, let's just go up here. I think this probably just leads up to the, like, back up to the main church area, would be my guess. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Steps. Oh no, okay, so it leads up to the balcony on the other side of the of this area. I gotcha, okay. But then there's a spot there though. Let's just see what's what's up with over here. That Zeke must be down below us. <clears throat> this must go down into that lower section, I'm guessing. You know, because now that I think about it, I don't think I've... <clears throat> I've only been in that um, upper section that we j were just in. I don't think I've been all the way down through here. For, if, or if I have, I don't remember uh, that. Okay, uh, let's see y'all. Let's try. Let's put some spikies there. And we need to repair this. Let's grab our crossbow and put it there. Hmm. What's he doing? I can't really tell, so... If we remove this, will he try and come around and get to us? Let's put that there. There's a coffin down that way. All right, so we got the kill for her. Big Mama. Okay, no, we got the kill. Good. Did wait, did we? Yeah, okay, we got the kill for both of them. Wow, this is nuts in here, man. I have not been back through here before. Nancy and a pink shirt guy there. What is this? A stairwell? No. 
just drops down through there. Okay, so we got three Zeeks in here. Uh, all right, how do we want to handle this? If we could get them to come through this little quarter, we could, you know, kind of run a gauntlet with them. Let's put some spikes there. All right. What happens if... <laughs> yes. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Let's try this guy next. Nope, I didn't get the kill. The spikes got it. Those guys aren't coming through here, are they? I think they're probably down below. Man, this this church is quite the labyrinth, man. I, I didn't realize it was this big. Because like I said, I've only been in that upper section where we got all the first set of schematics. So this is really cool. Okay, let's see if we can get lucky with Nurse Nancy. Not in the way you think <laughs> I meant. Oh, reload. See, the game still has a problem of... Oh, nice. Perfect. Okay. The problem of unloading your, your weapon. Fortunately, it doesn't do that for guns. But it seems to do it for... Uh, for, uh, like, bows and stuff. Ammo pile. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, all right. So let's do this. Like I said, I'm pretty sure that the running around that's going on down there is, uh, down below us. Alright. I should have probably just unloaded on him. Because he gives he gives seven hundred XP. Seven hundred actually more than seven hundred. But that's okay. We conserved ammo so Okay, let's go through here. Anything in these coffins? Oh, yeah. Nice. I'll take that. Woot. The people of this town bury their dead with ammunition. I don't think I'm going to take that. Okay, here we go down further into the catacombs with the Walking Dead. Nice. Nothing in that one. Nothing in those. <clears throat> Make sure nothing's going to drop down on our head here. All right. Um. Let's see. Let's get rid of this. Uh, 
and pop that in there in case something pops out. What's in this coffin? Nothing. Damn. We were like doing really good there for a while, and then all of a sudden they decided not to give us stuff anymore. Okay, let's go through here. I think that's the stairway up into the the main room. We just found a different way to get down here. Oh yeah, we were up there before, so that's the way we went around. Is there anything behind here? Another secret room. Oh, not him. Ah, oh, shit, I'm stuck. <laughs> I don't want that um, bio guy touching me because he'll, um, he'll affect us. Whew. Okay. <laughs> so much for uh, being stealthy, huh? Okay, let's put this light on. That thing's kind of cool looking. Are anything good back here? A purse. And some paper. Another coffin with nothing in it. Come on, coffins. Give us stuff. Feathers. Goodness gracious. That's a little better. Nice. All right, how do these compare <clears throat> to what we're currently wearing? So I guess what we're currently wearing has plus five more heat resist. The cold resist is the same. Am I reading that correctly? Um... No, these are better. So they have they both have the same cold resist, but these have better heat resist. So we're gonna swap these out. Let's get the um pocket off of here. And we'll modify this one with the pocket. And we will wear these. Nice. Okay. Um what should we do with these? We could those sell for a decent amount of money. They have um <clears throat> Better cold and better heat resist than what we're currently wearing, which I think is just armor boots. So, yeah. I, I might hang on to those, just so we have, like, backup set. We'll see. Clothing clothing is not quite as abundant in uh, Alpha 18 as it was in earlier versions of this game, I've noticed. Knuckle wraps. Okay, that's for the for brawling. Cell price 13. Yeah, we're not really doing brawling. Whoops. So I think I'm just going to scrap these. Nothing in there and brass in there. Okay, I think that's it, guys. I think we have... I think we have fully explored this church. That was pretty neat. That was a nice little... Nice little dungeon crawl, because like I said, I've never, um, I haven't done this whole thing before. Only parts of it. But, uh, just FYI, if you guys do this <clears throat> at some point later, it's this upper room that has all the books in it. The lower room has coffins and stuff, but there's not like a... A big fat juicy stash at the end of it though either. Hmm, really cool though. Okay, let's head on out of here. That Zeke must be up above. I think I'm gonna pick these up. Because we might we might come back here someday after, you know, everything resets. And, uh, you know, 
loot those bookcases again. All right, well, I think that's an episode, guys. I've got a bunch of stuff I need to haul back to the house. Um, so I'll work on that. Uh, we did get another level, too, so we got to figure out what we're going to do with that point. Um, so I'll give that some thought. And um, we need to decide what we're going to do in the next episode. You know, the, this, uh, you know, Alpha 18 is just really, seems to me anyways, to be more loot oriented I, I don't know i just i just really feel like i need to be <clears throat> in these pois and looting the heck out of them because i mean we found some pretty nice stuff down there i particularly you know books and stuff too but i'd like to explore more pois that you know i've never really fully seen before like the church you know i'd never been into the upper portion of the church uh or you know down into that lower section either so that was really fun to do that you know, so the reward for, of course, doing the looting and so forth, it gives you better loot, gives you XP, and it's just kind of fun to explore. So, there goes our timer. So, I think we're going to, you know, just kind of continue looting some POIs. Now, we do need to do this, um, this Tier 1 fetch quest, and we are also now into Tier 2 quests as well. So, when we turn this in, we should be able to get some Tier 2 quests, including some more buried supplies. So, I want to keep working on the questing, too, just because it's really worth it to do so. Um, so, yeah, that's basically it. Uh, more questing, more loading coming up in more these episodes. But I am really enjoying Alpha 18. I hope you guys are also enjoying it, too. Uh, playing it yourself and watching me and the other YouTubers play it. It's, it's really cool. And, of course, you know, it's still only an experimental, too. So... When it uh, comes out and as an actual, you know, normal alpha release or, or a stable release, I guess I should say, it's going to be really cool. Looking forward to, you know, starting over uh, with the stable release and doing uh, what I plan anyways to be a nice long series. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to let you go. Thank you for watching. hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, share out the video, and leave a comment. All those things do help, and I do appreciate it. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.